Uh, so you, John, and uh, Diana, for example, are all on the functional scheme, but you do very different things. So do you want to talk us through um, kind of what your role is? Yeah, uh, so there's, there's, there's five HR grads, um, of which I, I am one. I'm the HR graduate for UK and Europe. So I'm uh, doing HR issues, so you go from placement to placement. Currently doing a talent engagement, which is really interesting. So I've been helping out with the viewpoint uh, results. You probably haven't seen them yet because we just just joined, but that's all about engagement and seeing how people get on in the company, how how people feel, how people how what their experiences are, what their preferences are. That's that's really interesting because it, uh, it feels like although I, I don't get to go to the contracts because of, of COVID lockdown, I can really feel get a feel for a variety of, of the issues in the company and where we can still make improvements. Um, you must be in some pretty cool meetings. Is there anything fun you're doing at the moment that you want to tell us about? Yeah, so yeah, I've got, got a lot of meetings. So I spend a lot of time in meetings with a couple of directors, the HR director, uh, the operations director. That's quite fun. Um, at the moment, doing some stuff to do back, back to the viewpoint, but we did a really good piece of work about engagement and analysing the comments. So I've, I've been fortunate enough that the other regions have picked up on this. And they've, they've also found that quite interesting. So I've been presenting our work to uh, the, pe the people in engagement in the Middle East, people in engagement in the Americas, and then they've really appreciated the work we've done and they're looking to do something similar. So that, that's quite cool. That, that feels quite um, rewarding because although we've been here, what, two months now, I'm really getting some, some really interesting exposure nitty gritty side of the business and feels like feels like I'm actually trying to achieve something which is not not something I was sure would I, I'd be able to do in the first two months. For the most yeah. part it's good. Um, what, what about yourself? You're obviously on the operational role. How what sort of stuff do you get up to? Yeah so I guess operational is, is very different to functional in that uh, we're a lot close to the point of delivery whereas of course you're um, sort of pulling the strings behind the scenes but um, <laughs> yeah so I, I get to in part do some of the, the managing you know send 107 people out the door every day and also I get to I get to really see like the processes firsthand, uh, liaising with the clients and, and just trying to increase the efficiency of our services. Um, so yeah, I'd say completely different experience to you, partly because I've been in the office a bit, um, which sounds like, you know, that's pretty rare these days and, and, and I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, you, you actually get to go on contracts, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the other day, I, um, I went out on the, the actual bin round. So I, I do nice. citizen services, obviously, uh, environmental services. And um, God, that was that was a tough day of work. Um, you know, basically 7.30 to 5.30, you just walking behind the lorry, putting the bins on. Uh, some of the toughest work I've done, I'd say. But I really got a feel for the contract and, and some of the issues we're facing every day. And I've already been able to take some of the things um, I saw, some issues I saw uh, on the rounds and, and start, you know, actioning some, uh, some responses to them. But uh, really, I've just got to say fair play to all our frontline staff. You know, they do an awesome job. They work hard and they do it with a smile on their face. Despite